So, how to choose a DAW? On this episode, I will explain to you what's the difference between the main DAWs out there and how to choose the one that's right for you. I want to welcome you to the Toman Studio and Recording Channel where I explain mixing, music production, arrangement and all that goodness. If that's the kind of content that you're into, I strongly recommend that you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss out on the upcoming videos. So let's dive straight into DAWs. Firstly, DAW stands for Digital Audio Workstation. It's the program that you use to make music. At its most basic level, a DAW takes some audio information or creates some audio information via plugins and elaborates them into a finished piece of music. The first one I'm going to talk about is Pro Tools. It's the oldest of them all and it's probably the most established. You will find that most professional studios use Pro Tools because of its reliability and its track record of success in music production. Because of its reliability, Pro Tools is great for recording live instruments. In fact, it can record many of them without even flinching. And it's great also at processing audio. Editing audio with Pro Tools is very simple and very effective. I see Pro Tools as a big and powerful recording machine as opposed to a musical instrument. In fact, the MIDI implementation is pretty basic. It will get you by, but it's not exactly super flexible. On the other hand, it has great routing capabilities and it's perfectly suited for mixing and mastering. Also, Pro Tools needs an iLock to run, which can be a little bit annoying, but it's a little price to pay for one of the best DAWs out there. Next, we have Logic. Logic is made by Apple, which means it will only work with Apple computers and it's very, very popular. I see Logic as a great musical instrument. Logic comes with very good stock plugins, which allow you to get to a sound very quickly and very effectively. Logic has a very clear and intuitive workflow. It's great for recording, it's great for production, it's got a vast number of features, and it's very flexible when it comes to editing. It also has some very cool software synthesizers, which makes Logic a great software to create grooves, to come up with ideas and develop them into finished songs. On the other hand, Logic is not too straightforward when it comes to bus routing, which makes mixing a little bit harder than other DAWs out there. Logic is also cheaper than other DAWs, which makes it a great entry point for beginners who intend to be a little bit more serious about their music production. Next, we have Cubase, which is my personal favorite. To begin with, Cubase looks really, really nice. And the way I see it, Cubase is a better version of Logic in many respects. Recording is super easy. There are a ton of great plugins included with the software, and it has a very clever way of managing those plugins. Cubase will run so many more plugins than any other DAW out there because of its clever sound engine architecture. Importing and exporting is a breeze with Cubase. Cubase has a very good and intuitive routing and it works well with most pieces of hardware. Tuning vocals is really easy with Cubase. I use it all the time and it gives me joy every time I do it. Now, maybe Cubase is not exactly the cheapest of them all, but the features that you get are worth every penny, in my view. Next, Ableton Live. Now, Ableton Live, as the name suggests, is awesome for live applications. You can put together really complex effects chains with Ableton Live, and it's very effective when it comes to performance and reliability. When it comes to warping functionality, Ableton Live is probably the best and for sure the most creative. Ableton Live has a linear mode which behaves like most DAWs, but it also has a session view which can be used live or just for messing around with loops, and that's really effective. 
I would say that it's best for electronic musicians who aren't looking for recording as much, but want to be super innovative when it comes to their productions with a unique workflow. And I sure need to mention the sampler and the drum rocks, which are top of the range when it comes to soft synths. Maybe Ableton Live doesn't have the most straightforward mixing workflow, but a lot of house and electronic musicians use it to great effect and it's one of my personal favorites because it's so different. Next, we have FL Studio. Now, FL Studio is considered to be a great entry point for music producers. FL Studio is great if you like making music in blocks or loops and then putting them together on a timeline to construct a song that way. It has separate regions that you put together on the timeline for automation, not just automation lanes, which can be a bit weird, but if you get used to it, it's great. FL Studio is also great for beat making and it has pattern view, which uses a kind of layout as an 808. FL Studio is probably geared more towards production than recording and it's super popular amongst electronic musicians all over the world. The last DAW I'm gonna mention today is GarageBand. Now GarageBand is pretty much a simplified version of Logic and it runs on laptops but also on iPads and iPhones. So it's great if you wanna make music on the go. It's quite colorful, it has a lot of uh, nice sounds to begin with and you are able to put together ideas very quickly and very effectively. I wouldn't consider GarageBand a professional DAW, but because it's so simple and so immediate, you can get ideas out very quickly and you can be very creative with it. Also, did I mention, GarageBand is free, although it works only on Apple devices. My final thoughts about DAWs is the following. There is no DAW that sounds inherently better than the next. Why? Because they all deal with digital information, which gets transformed into analog information, aka music, once they pass through the audio interface. So you have to think of the DAW as a host. Now, what makes a difference is the way you feel about the interface. So the best DAW for you is the interface where you feel the fastest on or that you like the most, because that will give you a good feeling about making your music. Most of these DAWs can be tested for free, maybe they are trials. I will leave some links in the description so that you can verify which one is best for you. I hope you like this video. If you want me to tackle specific subjects in the next episodes, just please leave a comment here below. I always appreciate a big thumbs up and I hope you're staying super inspired, making great music and living life happily. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.